good morning. It is November 27th, and it is the first day of Maryland and Pennsylvania's gun season. So just like last year, um, instead of hunting PA, uh, I'm actually going to head to Maryland. And my goal today, just like last year, was, is to go after sneak a deer. It is about 1 a.m., and I'm en route for, um, for Seekaville. This is an area that I did pretty well back in archery season uh, with Lane. Um, we came in here the day after he got his stag and we actually saw a real good four point. I'm going to uh, give another whirl today. Um, I have a 308, so I'm like a muzzleloader with a one shot kind of deal. Um, I, have some, <laughs> I have a few chances to make it happen and uh, we shall see. I really would love to get a stag today. Uh, I've been, I was fortunate enough this year to get a nice white tail PA with my bow to get a elk and a mule deer in Colorado and though I did shoot a, a hind, a Sika hind uh, back in October, um, I'd really like to fill um, a tag on a stag today. I just hope all the guys in Pennsylvania, Maryland going out today for the first day of gun season um, have a safe, fruitful season and I uh, hope I get to do the same. So, see you in the tree. About 3:30, and um, back in the marsh and set up. Actually, it's probably about quarter of four, but either way, you get the point. I'm in early, really, really early. I did see walking in more tacks and more ribbons than that were here back in October. So this area has been getting hunted by other guys, I'm sure. But this morning, I'm the first one in here. I'm in a really good position. Most of the ribbons and the tacks stopped about 200 yards before this spot, so I'm hoping they didn't push us deep into the marsh, and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, it's chilly. It's, there's a 15 to 20 mile per hour northwest wind, and I'm feeling it in this really flat area down here on the marsh. It's really blowing, but we're in. I'm going to chill, and uh may have to play a little flashlight tag here in a bit if guys start coming in on me, but... We'll see what happens here in the next few hours.
20 yards. Now, my wind's pulling right to where he was going. And he got right to my wind and stopped and threw his head up. And I didn't have a, a clear shot, like as far as like I could see real good. But I thought I was just shooting that frag stuff and I, sh I thought I was on him. But they're so freaking tiny. I think I shot right over his back. Over to the tree because I didn't want her laying in that water. So she is. It's funny I have to bone it. It's all in one bag. That's pretty cool. It's all in there. I didn't debone the uh, one hind quarter, but I got the rest done. So it's uh, going to be a pretty light carry, which is nice. Um, going to get out of here. I got to go have dinner plans tonight. So I got to hike out, kayak. And drive home so it was a good day here in the marsh like i said i'm kind of bummed well really bummed because can you imagine how cool it would have been to get that freaking hind kill basically just spin around and then get a stag it was um, it was so close so close it was a good stag too it would be my best stag ever figures but all right well i'll see you guys and uh hopefully the next time i'm in the woods and Hopefully we're doing something cool again. See you then. Good morning. It is November 29th and I'm on my way back down to Sika Town, I guess. Um, it's about 2.45 in the morning. I got up another hour or so, hour and 15 minute drive and I uh, should be there. Uh, I'm going to go back into where I shot the hind the other day um, and missed that stag. Hopefully a little redemption today. That's the plan. Um, I'm getting pretty tired. I'll tell you what. Days off work aren't really off, or, or hardly a vacation um, when you're getting up at like midnight to go hunt all day. But I love this stuff, and I'll sleep in the off season, so it'll be all right. All right. I am in here and set up. I have a, <laughs> a heck of a time today. I have a, I forgot my headlight at home. So I had to use this broken, dim thing to get in here. That was fun. And then I, I decided to shift trees about 20 yards because the wind the other day kind of screwed me on this one trail. It's the same wind today, so I decided to come kind of around that um, frag edge a little bit more just to keep that one trail um, from being downwind to me. It looks like I'm going to be in great position, but this tree look great from below but once you got up to about 18 20 feet it got all squirrely and had some kinks to it and i'm using a climber today so i'm in and uh set up so we'll see how this goes this morning long season I can't believe it that's not a it's just a spike but I don't care I'm Jack man it's awesome yeah yeah this is the last day I can hunt Sika I wasn't even supposed to come down here today but I missed that stag last week or on the first day and I had to just get free up some time to get down here today just had that freaking spike come in. It's about 40 yards. And I just hammered it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So just finishing packing up my stand and uh, <clears throat> just wanna see the tree I was in. Right here by this holly tree. There's my climber. And that beautiful sunrise over the marsh. And you set up basically in the water. All right, here is my 2021 uh, rifle stag down here in Eastern Shore. So pumped up. It was a goal of mine this year um, after killing a mule deer buck and a, a bull elk in, a, in Colorado to get a stag. Bonds from Bayside Legion kind of pointed out 
how rare that is for someone to probably do that, and I did it. I also got a whitetail buck in PA too, so pretty awesome. Um, this is a 308 like I used for that elk in Colorado, and now I just put the stag down. I didn't have uh, much more time to hunt uh, Sika this year. I might get, get down one or two more times late season, but this was it for probably a rifle. So um, when he gave me a good shot there at uh, 40 yards, I made the best of it, and I'm pretty pumped up with this beautiful Sika stag.